everyone, I'm Amy with Booktubing Amy and today I'm reviewing a book called Midnight Lies by Ella Grace. First off, I got this book through NetGallery and I just have to say thank you NetGallery for introducing me to this fabulous book. It's so good! Let me first off say this is the second book in this in the Midnight series and I haven't read the first one but after this book I'm so going to read the first one. What's weird about this book however was the fact that there was no one quote that I loved the most. The book was a five stars, a definite five stars, but it was no there was no one quote that I was like that should be, deserves to be highlighted. As you all know I love Christy Reese. And what was really cool is after I got this book, I found out that Christy Reese also wrote this one, so it made it even better. This book is about Samantha, one of the wild sisters that's wild with an E. And she comes to her town, back to her town at midnight after Quinn is accused of murder and then he gets mad at her because she thought he did it. But she has good justification for why he, she thinks he did it. Or questions he did it. Christy Reese and Ella Grace have a tendency to have the characters meet before their their big their big part of the book, and it's always interesting to see how she does that. And I'm I'm always worried because that's to me that sounds like a very dangerous plot to do, because it could be hard to believe. But she just did it where it flows so nicely. I was shaking when I finished this book. I was shaking so bad. It was so awesome. There is one little little thing that I didn't prefer. It was Quinn's job. Not that he didn't have one or what he did. It was that it wasn't shown a whole lot. What I mean by that is the fact that his job was only shown for about a couple pages and I was very confused of what exactly he did. I know he was a doctor but it was that I think she needed to elaborate on it. I'm always amazed at the characters she comes up with. Mainly the guys. These guys are very manly men. Some of the things I'm always worried about with romance novels is the fact that it's almost hard to believe how they went from the beginning of the book to the end of the book, the transformation they made. But with her books, they flow so beautifully. I'm always on the seat of my pants waiting for the next sentence to come out. So this book comes out on September 24th in this year, and y'all really should go pick it up. I mean, it is the best book I've read this year. No no doubt about it that it's the best book I've read this year. Possibly last year too. I, mean, I can't remember exactly what I read last year but for sure it's fantastic. So my rating for this obviously would be buy five copies, give it to all your friends, keep it with you at all times. It's one of those books. So the question of the day is what is your favorite romantic suspense? And if you could please comment, leave a video response a like, share with your friends, subscribe, I very much appreciate it, and as always, go find your inner reader. See ya!